Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Actress album, Ghettoville. This is the fourth full-length release from Actress, aka Darren J. Cunningham, a UK-based electronic music producer. I enjoyed the really minimal, stripped-down approach that he took to genres like house and techno on his earliest LPs, but he sort of lost me a bit on his last full-length album, R.I.P. An LP that showed Darren's sound moving into some really abstract territory and stringing together a series of tracks that weren't exactly cohesive as an album to me. And obviously having an album that was really uniform in style and sound was not the goal of this LP. Instead, Darren seemed to focus a lot more on trying to explore as many sounds, textures, and moods as possible. And there's nothing inherently wrong with a disjointed record, but it's the track specifically that didn't end up grabbing me on this LP, some of which I found to meander a little bit too much, were maybe a little bit too skeletal, just weren't putting out anything sonically that was gripping to me. I think Actress's scatterbrained approach ends up working out for him on this new record, though. It's sort of a strong change in feeling for me. I mean, after listening to this record, I'm sort of seeing Actress in more of the same light as artists like Autekker or Flying Lotus. But to me, they're only similar in the sense that they make electronic music that is rhythmically driven and is filled with relentless sonic experimentation. And another thing that shocked me about this record is how instantaneous it was for me. I know that there are a lot of weird, ambient, abstract, challenging sounds on here. But even after one listen to this thing, I couldn't help but find it really dark, moody, and gratifying. To me, this record is simultaneously genre-embracing and genre def an album that shows its influences very obviously, but takes them, manipulates them, twists them into something where it's difficult to tell where something is coming from or where something is going. You know, it's cool to see this dude take something as simple as the parameters of house music and break them down and build them back up with dusty drum beats and textures that remind me of things like asphalt, concrete, moonlit nights cold hard steel. Some of the tracks here are loud, they're hard hitting, they have strong grooves, others are a little bit more ambient in style, but still feature some really strange and vivid sounds that, that have a really strong sense of place. Each one of the 16 tracks on this LP has their own unique personality that I could go into pretty deep detail describing, and altogether these songs span 70 minutes. The song Birdcage has this insanely stiff, loud, and robotic hi-hat kick drum pattern. There's a breathy vocal sample on this track, some deep bass, and I love the sharp sounds of the drums on this track. And the track switches back and forth between these robotic drum beats and these drum fills that seem a little foreign with these cheery woodwind synth leads dancing on top of them. I love hearing these really lively pieces of percussion mixed with just this hard-nosed techno beat. The opener on this LP, also a song that I love incredibly slow. A beat that really lurks. It's heavy with bass, and there's all these stretched out fizzling ride cymbals that play on top of it too. There's some icy synths on this track, some metallic chimes that just ring out eerily. It's a great atmosphere to kick this record off with, but it does require some patience because it is a, a, a long track. It is a track that doesn't exactly come out and bite you. I'm sure this song is going to scare away as many people as it pulls in. There's another track on here that I love that also hits a super slow stride, the song Contagious. The beat on this song, it sounds like a train, a coal engine train from hell, just pulling out of the station to bring its passengers to a lifetime of torment. An after lifetime. And the really muffled, deep, slow vocal cuts on this track lead me to believe that these rhythms might just be a part of some larger sample from somewhere else. Taking what could potentially be just sort of a sexy slow jam and playing it this slow is kind of vaporwave. But to me, Actress takes it one step further by surrounding this track with some really ominous rhythms and synthesizers. Where Actress's take on this sort of budding genre gets a little old is on the song Rap, where to me the song doesn't feel much more like just a sample of a song sort of played and looped and 
chopped and whatnot. Actress does a good job of catching that vaporwave vibe, but the song is a little underwhelming on the detail side. There's some tracks on this LP that have a, a gentler side of sorts, like the track Hour, which with these really light, light rhythms and these just sparkling thumb piano melodies, I'm reminded a bit of people like Panther Du Prince or Bonobo. Or the song Time, which while it isn't really a heavy track, it is an incredibly eerie song with a very sour drone hanging in the background with some very tense hi-hats playing in the foreground. There's some odd synthesizer keys that play on this track too, and the longer this song goes, the more frightening it is. And some of the tracks on this LP display a somewhat goofier side of Actress as well, like the song Corner, which is a bit of slow-paced synthesizer funk with these melodic leads that are played so awkwardly over this groove, it's kind of hilarious, and the really just overbearing, heavy bass line is really what makes this track. And the song rims, too, with these sort of weird upward and downward sliding lead melodies on the track. It sounds a little silly. It's got these gurgling bass lines as well, and I do like the track, even if it is less impressive than a lot of the other songs on here. My favorite tracks on this LP is where actors might approach just a really simple house 4-4 rhythm with a pretty experimental flair, like the really murky track frontline where it seems like he tries to strip back as much treble as possible, with some pretty nice bass lines on this song too. And then there's Skyline, which is incredibly minimal. It's glitchy. And there's some weird metallic drones hanging in the background of this track too, and I love Gaze, which is maybe the most accessible, melodic, and celebratory track on this entire album. Really great undeniable beat with some incredibly bright synths. And there are also songs on here that, of course, contrast this brightness, this upbeat attitude in a great way, like the song Street Corp, which is so robotic with its off-kilter rhythm that it feels like I'm listening to some kind of machine whose job it is to just crank away on some assembly line day in and day out. The track seems so simple in concept, but to me it, it, it says a lot. I love a majority of the tracks on this album, even if overall the LP is a little scatterbrained, and you know, at the end of the day, this is a record that perfectly reflects its cover art in that it feels sort of like a musical sketchbook. Something I think the album R.I.P. was as well, but that album was masquerading as something that was a little bit more refined and was a little bit too reserved because of that. Ghettoville knows it's a personal indulgence, it does not hide that, and it ends up bolder and more intimate because of that. Even if some of the bridges on this LP lead to nowhere, even if there are some tracks on here that do feel a little redundant or inconsequential. Overall, I ended up loving the experience I had with this pretty jarring set of tracks. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this thing. Tran, Zishin, if you've given this LP a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, actress, Ghettoville, forever.